Hey, how are you doing today? My name is Brian Del Prado, and thank you so much for watching this video today. So I'm going to be showing you on how I did this here. I use Adobe Photoshop and before you click away, Adobe Photoshop is not a hard tool guys. I know it could be very intimidating. It was for me, but this is a, one of the simplest edits you'll probably possibly ever do in Adobe Photoshop. But before I get into it, I'm going to be talking exactly where I took this photo. This photo was taken in Mexico Tulum, one of my favorite places out there, by the way. Um, this particular hotel is called Papaya Playa. The reason why we booked this hotel is because it's uh, we've been seeing this pop up on our Instagram so much. And me and the wife wanted to you know, visit this hotel and take our own photos and just enjoy the vibe out there. And guys, the vibe is perfect. It feels like you're lost in a paradise kind of jungle kind of thing. But anyways, this hotel has pools on top of their, on top of certain suites and they have private pools ground level. Honestly, it offers it all. Trust me when I say this, go ahead and visit this Papaya Playa project hotel. It's amazing. All right, so let's get straight into it, guys. We are gonna open up Adobe Photoshop. Um, I do have the 2022 version. Um, you can say I'm in the future already. Recording this video in 2021. Anyways, let's go ahead and opening it up. So what we're gonna wanna do first, guys, is go to new file, click. You need to click on custom. In my case, I already have it set up. So you're gonna wanna copy these, you know, this exact settings. Make sure that you have this in pixels here and make sure that you put 1080 by 1350. This is what Instagram allows. This is that long, tall Instagram post that you can do on there. So this is the exact format that you need for Instagram. Um, other than that, you click create and there you go. This is, this is the layout. So one important thing, this is going to make it very easy on you to keep your post very symmetrical. And what you're going to want to do is go to uh, view on the top, then click on, uh, where is that? New guide layout. So this is definitely going to help you keep your post very symmetrical on the columns. You're going to want to input one and on the rows that you're going to want to put three. And there you go, guys. So you, if you see, you have one, two, and three. This is going to make it so much easier to make this kinds of uh, Instagram post. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Oh, where's my photos at? I'm going to go ahead, dra drag and drop my first photo right in the middle. And I'm going to want to expand this here so that we cover all these white borders. You go ahead and move around the photo however you want it. In my case, I'm just going to leave it here. And so the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is click the marquee tool here, the, rec the rectangle marquee tool, and you're gonna to wanna to click the areas that you want to cut out. So in my case, I like to keep the center photo a little bigger. I like the area of tension more on the center photo. And uh, so to the bottom right, you're gonna to wanna to click this mask tool here. Go ahead and add a mask. And if you're on Apple, you want to go ahead and click Command I. In my case, I'm using a, a uh, Windows, so Control I to invert the selection. And again, you're gonna want to go ahead and do the same thing on the top side. And I'm gonna choose it up right up there. Click the mask, the mask tool again. Add a mask. Control I, and there you go. There's my first picture. And uh, now I'm gonna drag in the second picture. I'm using this picture twice, by the way. You'll see what I'm doing. Um, I really love this drone shot, by the way. I'm gonna expand this so it can fit. I'm gonna choose this, this spot here with the pools. I really love how this, how this little area looks here. So again, use the marquee tool here. We're gonna go ahead and cut this out right up to there. We're gonna click, uh, we're gonna add a mask to this. Control I to invert the selection. There's my second picture, guys. Now, again, since I'm using the same photo, I'm gonna go ahead, grab the same photo, drag and drop. And now what I wanna do is I wanna use, oh, again, we gotta expand this so we don't show any of the borders, but I kinda wanna use, yeah, I think I like that there. Again. Use the marquee tool, select what you want to cut out. And I'm going to cut out up to there, add a mask on there, bottom right, that square button with the little grayed up dot on it. Click on that, control I, command I if you're using Apple. But there you go, guys, it's, it's that simple. 
you know, I want to say what well, it's a couple little steps, but it gets the job done, gets it's very nice and symmetrical. Um, other than that, for export settings, all I do is export, export as, and on the format, I always, I always use JPEG. I believe this is the most universal kind of format across all social media platforms. But for quality, I always click excellent because I like my stuff excellent. But anyways, there you go. Export, you know, you can export wherever you want. Save the name, file name, however you want to save it. It's up to you. But other than that, I'm gonna go that far anymore because I already made the photo. But guys, it's that simple. Nothing complicated. Photoshop isn't as intimidating as people make it seem. Honestly, just learn, keep creating. That's the advice I can give you. But other than that, this is probably my last video for this year here. If I squeeze out one more, it's probably because I was bored. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your year and you know, be close to the people you love. Love the people you have now. And just honestly, guys, keep spreading good vibes out there. And I hope that you have a great day and enjoy the rest of your year. Peace out. Bye-bye.